we learned that if you have we learned that in rectangular form if you have z equals x plus y i then that number has a conjugate z conjugate which is x minus y i and so in this video we're just going to talk about what that looks like in polar form so just like in rectangular form the conjugate is just the number reflected across the real axis one thing we discussed was that when you take the conjugate of a number the length of the complex number stays the same so z conjugate has modulus r like just like z has modulus r however with z we went up theta from the real axis real axis however with z conjugate we went down by theta and so the angle is negative theta because we're going below the real axis and so when we express that if we have an r cis form z equals r cis theta then we'll write z conjugate as r equals cis of negative theta because the r is staying the same but the direction we are rotating is the opposite and so it's a cis of negative theta instead of cis of theta so this is how you um, find a conjugate in polar form. You just make the angle negative, or if the angle is already negative, then you make it positive.